They're tall. It may be a vlog. Hey guys. Um, I'm sorry it's been so long. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed. I haven't filmed in like two weeks, which is very rare for me. I usually I'm like constantly filming. Um, so that I have material to choose from, and I can pick and choose if I even want to upload it or not, and sometimes I just delete a lot of stuff. So anyway, um, I've just been really busy. Um, I've been preparing for the Lord of the Rings party, which is this Saturday, and, uh, both my kids got sick with a fever. Um, not at the same time, but pretty much one right after the other. Um, I went shopping a bunch of times this weekend. I went out to a bar for the, my very first time. Like, I've never been to a bar, and everyone's like, you're 24, you're going to be 25 in, like, three weeks. How come you've never been to a bar? Like, how is this possible? I'm like, well, I kind of had a family first. So that happened. And then I, yeah, so I finally got to go to a bar. It was pretty fun. Um, We went to actually two places. One isn't necessarily considered a bar, but it's it's like a restaurant uh, and our brewery where they brew ales and they also have, um, a winery that they work with that, so they have like samplers and stuff and everything like that. And me and Andrew were able to get a babysitter. Thank you, Kirsten, so much. I don't know if she watches my videos, but if you do, I love you. And, uh, if her, yeah, if it weren't for her, like, we we wouldn't have been able to go out. And this was, like, the first time we got to do something really, like, adult-like. Because normally, <clears throat> if we do get a babysitter, it's, like, just to go to the movies for maybe an hour. Um, which we haven't even done that. We have a gift card from Christmas that we still haven't used. Eventually, it will happen. We're probably, I think we're waiting. Because there's, I don't think there's a time limit on it. So... So we're waiting for um, the new Planet of the Apes movie to come out because we fucking love Planet of the Apes. Just saying. So anyway, um, yeah, we got to, so we went to this place called Tin Man and it's really nifty and I loved it and we got to try some ales. I, I don't like beer. I don't like ales. I'm the girliest of the girl when it comes to drinks, except maybe a Bloody Mary. I mean, that's pretty like, salty. It's not very sweet. But when it comes to, like, majority of drinks, I'm like, yeah. No. And I don't even like a lot of wines, because a lot of wines are way too bitter for me. Um, but they had this, they had a, a blackberry wine, which was good, and then they had a blueberry wine. It tastes dead up like fruit juice. So we were all drinking it like, this is delicious. I think I'm getting drunk. Like, we were just so happy about it. Like, it was it was awesome. And my friend Amanda was with us, which was, she was the one who was like, hey, I'm going to go to Tin Man. Who's with me? And me and Andrew were like, we want to go. We never get to go out. So we were excited about that. We get to hang out. We get to meet some of their work friends, which was fun. I always feel like a weird, like, an extra wheel, third wheel, except there was, like, five of us, so fifth wheel in these situations. Because they know everyone from work, they all work at TJ Maxx, and they all know each other, and uh, and even if they don't know each other, they have that common bond, we're like, oh, you work at TJ Maxx? I work at TJ Maxx. <laughs> Me, I'm like, hi, I hang out with kids all day, well, actually one kid all day, and then my daughter comes home from school, and then I hang out with her, and we craft and watch movies. That's what I do. Hi. <laughs> I feel like a really gooby weirdo. I'm like, who is this girl? How how can she possibly be any fun? Like, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying. I don't know how to be an adult. So I keep blabbing on and on and on. And basically, uh, I have a haul for you. Technically, it's two hauls. Actually, no, it's kind of like three hauls mixed together. Okay, so I think I'm going to go in order of timeline. Um, the first thing I did, I went to Walmart. That was the first place I had gone shopping, and I picked up some stuff, because I do that. Actually, I got my contacts. Still haven't taken them out. I haven't actually worn my contacts in over a week. I thoroughly enjoy my glasses so much. I love them so much. I feel so awesome wearing them. 
But I just been like I do the winged eye and everything with it, and I just feel so freaking awesome. I don't know why. I, just, I think it's because I'm like I can do my cool makeup and have my like cool nerdy smart glasses, and I look freaking I just look badass. I don't know why I think that's so awesome, but but I have my contact. So if I want to wear them, which I'm sure we're probably wearing them a lot this summer, because I hate being sweaty on my glasses. It's not fun. That and I'll be mowing the lawn and stuff like that. Oh, I got this shirt. It. I saw it. Like, I looked. I, okay. So, we were looking around, me and Kat, um, through a bunch of clothes. She found a couple things. I kept finding things I really liked, but they were either not on sale or um, they just didn't have my size or something like that. That's the problem with, like, clearance racks. You're really going through the bare minimum, you know, the bare minimum. And there's usually just, like a bunch of extra smalls and and maybe a medium. If you find a large, oh, I like getting XLs because they're more comfortable. I like the bigger, baggier look. And I could throw some leggings on underneath and it's really nice and comfy and, and pretty. And it looks looks great. You look like you're you're well kempt and you're comfortable. I don't like skin tight crap. We'll go outside later. You look disgusting. Go eat your food. So anyway, um I I looked around, didn't really find anything that I wanted. I tried on like eight things and nothing was just, nothing made me feel like, ooh. And then we were walking by this like giant clearance rack and everything was $3. And I happened to see this and I was like, do they have my size? What is this? Do they have my size? And they have it at my size and I was like, oh my God, it looks like Slytherin. And for those of you who do not know what Slytherin is, it's a house in Hogwarts. It's a Harry Potter thing. And I, I've always been Slytherin. Like, whenever I do any games, I always end up being Slytherin. And Slytherin's the shit. I'm not, that doesn't mean I'm gonna turn evil. It just means I really like green and gray. So I saw this. I didn't even try it on. I was like, I'm taking it. I don't care. I'm just, I'm just gonna buy it. That's $3. It's mine. I'm having it. So, yes, I did that. And then we walked by this bin. And they had tons and tons of, like, kid cups. I'm like, oh, that's fun. Like, we've, we have a couple. We have, like, a Brave one. We have uh, the cartoon, uh, the Grinch Stole Christmas. Um, we have some princess ones, fun stuff. And I saw that they had Iron Iron Man, and I was trying to find, like, an Avenger cup with all the Avengers because I couldn't choose because there's – I really like Hulk and I really like Captain America and Iron Man, and I couldn't choose between them. So I was hoping to find one with all of them on it. But uh, no such luck. No such luck. But I did find Wonder Woman. It's Wonder Woman. I mean, come on. It's Wonder Woman. She's awesome. If they would have had a Xena, I would have gotten a Xena and a Wonder Woman. So eat it. And then uh, my daughter really likes Monster High, and they had a Monster High one. It was the only one I saw, and I was like, you know, I should probably get that for her because she really likes that crap. And so I presented these to her. I'm like, I got you two cups. That's how much I love you. I didn't get Ivan shit. I got you two cups. And she's like, oh, I really like the Monster High one. This one's okay. And I was like, Nora, trust me. You're really going to appreciate this when you get older. Because all of us girls do. You turn into your teens and you're like, Wonder Woman's badass. And then, you're, and then you want to wear it sh her shirts and stuff. And then you're like, I'm awesome. So I'm like, she doesn't appreciate it now, but when she is like a teen and she has friends over, they're like, you have a Wonder Woman cup? She's like, hell yeah, I do. Because that's what I was like. I totally did that shit. <clears throat> oh, I also got two of these. Um, they're table covers. They're plain black. Um, they're actually 97 cents, which uh, each, and I thought that was awesome because we went to Party City, which is like... All party stuff, you know, where you think you would get that kind of thing. Um, but they were a dollar each, so I was like, ha, 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 ha. I made bank going to Walmart because I'm cheap. Um, I'm not actually going to use it for a table cover. I'm going to use it um, on these two mounds of tires that we have. And I'm going to try and make the two towers. I don't know if that's going to work out. We're going to see what happens. If not... I don't know. I might just keep them covered. They might just be little black mounds or something. I don't know. But we'll see how that goes. 
I mean, I've been crafting so much for this party. I made a sign. Um, actually, I made two different kinds of signs. I made, like, a post sign that I can put in the ground. Um, actually, I have it right here. It's kind of big. That's what she said. Okay, look at this. It's an actual sign. Like, no joke. It's Hobbiton, Shire, and then Rivendell. I don't know if that's going to be backwards, because it's backwards on my screen. If that's backwards to you, sorry. I don't know how to fix that. And then there's Gondor and Mordor. I made it made the M kind of weird, so people are like, is that an N? Is that an No, it's an M for Mordor, a douchebag. And then it's on this giant post that I'm going to stick in the ground, which I actually painted this. It was actually like regular light wood, and I used black and brown paint and just kind of went over it. So, cause I'm crazy. I do stuff. Uh, <laughs> don't fall. Don't fall. Okay. And then I also made black cardboard trees. I, well, first I cut them out, which, uh, if it weren't for Amanda's mom, I wouldn't have had those, that cardboard, which was awesome. I'm so glad she gave that to me because I really needed it. And, uh, and they were huge, which was great. I really wanted big ones. And then uh, yesterday, because it was nice out. It's been so nice out. Oh, my God. The weather has been, like, amazing. It's great. <laughs> I just hope it stays great till Saturday. Or on Saturday, please. And then, uh, yeah, so I spray painted all of it. Um, it's all in the shed, so I'm not going to get that out. But you guys will definitely see it for the party because I'm going to tack it up on my shed. And it's going to be part of, like, when we take pictures, we'll have sh trees shouting at us. And it'll be all amazing and shit. Be all amazing as shit. I'm coughing. So, so here's the other sign I had made. This is actually the first thing I had made. Um, it is cardboard. I tried to make it look like wood. So we'll see. It's the prancing pony. And uh, it's pran prancing pony. It's not exactly like the one from the movie. I did my best to kind of make it that way, but I didn't do the writing exactly. And uh. And the horse, obviously, isn't the best. Well, the pony, whatever. But I think I did pretty damn good. This is my first try at it. Um, you know, so I think I did pretty good. It's not perfect, but you get the idea. Um, my friends were actually really ecstatic about it, which made me feel really good. Because I was like, I don't know, is this stupid? Did I just make the dumbest sign ever? And uh, a few of my friends were like, it's amazing! So I'm like, yay! Positive reinforcement. So anyway, okay. So I think that was all I crafted so far. Um, but the trees you didn't get to see, but I, will, you know, obviously you'll see those later. I'm planning on doing tons and tons of footage for the party. Um, I was actually gonna do like a fun dance thing with everybody. Hopefully they'll all be into it. Um, they were for the Halloween party, and that's pretty much the same people who are coming. So, and then I, okay, so yeah, I went. I also went to TJ Maxx, and, um, but I also got birthday presents from my friend Amanda, because she is awesome. Where? Okay. Okay. I think she only got me three things. I just hope I'm not wrong and I missed something. Okay, so first off, I'm going to show you this awesome color palette. 88 color palette cool matte eyeshadow i haven't been doing eyeshadow that much but this is pretty amazing so i'm probably going to get to it i'm probably going to start doing it a little bit more um i mean of course i'll use it for like zombie parties and stuff like that but look at that man so much so much color so much color but it's gorgeous and it smells like suntan lotion for some reason it's not a bad smell. It's just interesting. It smells like eyeshadow and suntan lotion. Maybe it's just me. But it's really pretty. I have I have one already, um, a palette, but it's um I think there's only like twelve. So this is pretty badass. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. I need just so so much. And then we got some burlap way back when and uh, I made like a sign thing. Because I have it over foam, you can't really do much with it. But she had cork board, and she made me one with cork board. So I can I was going to actually hang my earrings in it. I think that would be really cool. Because the thing I have my earrings in right now, you can't really see. You have to kind of dig for it. And I really want to use that for just rings. So 
this way I can just put my earrings in it and it'll be all cool. I, I'm going to put it back by my washer and dryer somewhere because that's where I keep all my jewelry and stuff. But I haven't quite figured out how to do that yet. And then I saw this and I was like, oh, it's a little package. It's so, it's so cute. And she's like, well, open it, stupid. I'm like, okay. And there's these two awesome necklaces inside. I want to try and incorporate these into my costume, but I don't. I don't think Sam really wears jewelry. So I was thinking maybe putting it on a different chain just for the party and uh, having my daughter wear it, at least the green one, because I think that'll look really good with her outfit. And then, I don't know. But the cool thing about these, um, they're adjustable. I can get it out of here. I'm simple, apparently. But anyway, you can, like tighten them as you're wearing, but they're supposed to be separate, but I can't seem to detangle them. I'm just not good at that. So anyway, Amanda is awesome. And then it came with this little, came, it's okay. actually her, it's a Luna Loop jewelry and crochet. It's her little card and it's really cute. Can you see that? See that? Look at it! It's so cool. <laughs> It's so really cute. It's got a lot of information and stuff on it. How nifty is that? She didn't make these, though. Uh, she actually got them from a, a local crafter around here. Or jewelry person. But I thought that was really awesome. And I love her little, little card. Hi. Hi. doesn't matter where I go, does it? You're just always in my way. Can you not touch me with your nasty chili fingers? Here. Go play. <coughs> you all right, bud? Yeah, the kids are better, but, like, Nora was sick over the over last weekend, and then I even got sick a couple days ago. It's only kind of been, like, a 24-hour bug, so I'm not too worried about it, but it's just kind of annoying. All right, and then I went, okay, I went to TJ Max with Amanda, and we got some stuff. I, I was able to find the pencils. For the party, so everyone's going to get one in their bag. I'm so excited. It's going to be super, super fun. Um, I still need to pick up some candies and stuff like that, but I'm probably going to do that Friday when we run errands with my husband. And then I also need to get gray spray paint. And then, okay, so I got this really cool top, which I wore when I went to the bar. And uh, they had a blue one just like it, but I kind of liked the white more. Not really sure why. I think it's because I had a blue top similar to it. But it's really nice. I can see me wearing this, like, you know, spring and summer. Really comfy, really cute. Um, and I actually, uh, I wore this underneath it, which was a top I had gotten from Target for Christmas. And it worked out really well because... It's, since they're both kind of sheer, doubled up together, they looked really nice, and uh, I felt pretty, pretty awesome, just saying. And then I also got this other top, which was a very impulsive buy. I'm not really sure it was a good idea. It was $7.99, which is probably one of the reasons why I was like, it's on sale, and I got all the sale stuff. I just got really stupid. Um... It's like a cute sheer top with like a tank top underneath. Um, it fits, but it's not as long as I would like it. And I don't know. I just, I got really dumb. I'm like, it's a large. I even tried it on. Well, I told myself, I was like, it's the pants you're wearing. If you wore different pants, this would look amazing. But I'm not so sure. Uh, maybe if I wore shorts with it or something, I don't know. I'm going to mess around with it, see what I can do. If not, maybe it'll be in a giveaway or something that I do because I've been trying to do those closet giveaways. I literally filmed it. I filmed it, and then I was like, this is, no, this is so stupid. Because I was trying, uh, I was taking a stab at a uh, really dry, narcissistic humor. And I just come off as a giant asshole. So I was like, I should just delete that whole thing. So I did. Um, I just, I want to do the giveaway. Um, I'm just not sure how to do it because I have 
different sized items and I kind of feel like maybe I should just do like two clothing items and then like a couple of trinkets because I don't want to I literally have like two different sized shoes and I felt really weird like which shoes should I give away should I give away any shoes and so I mean bear with me I'm just trying to figure out how to do it right because I don't want to make anybody feel like I get two pairs of shoes and neither of these fit me because <laughs> the one was actually a little size bigger than me and the other one's a little too tight so that's why I was going to give them away I was like this is my closet giveaway so I mean stuff that doesn't work for me and may work for you but then I was like but then they'd have two different size shoes so one of them they wouldn't even be able to wear like I don't know I think I might break them up or I might just um donate some and then and then I also wanted to throw in a cardigan in there because I have lots of cardigans that I just don't wear anymore. Well, first of all, I got like two cardigans that are like super awesome, but I was just so excited about finding cardigans. They said large, but they didn't actually like really fit me very well, like in the arms. I got man big arm things going on. I'm sure I could lose the weight if I actually exercise, but you know what? I just don't give a shit enough to try. So, anyway... Uh, yeah, so I have cardigans that I was going to give away as well, but I don't know. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with it yet, so just, I know I already have, like, 200, maybe 202 videos, and I said I was going to do, like, a 200 video giveaway, and I will do it, but it might be, like, 230 giveaway, <laughs> just because I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing with it. Um, I should probably do it soon, though. If anything, it, I might do it in this like late spring maybe in a couple months I don't know just bear with me I'm just trying to figure out how to do it and how to do it right because I want everyone to be happy with what they have so anywho, anywho, anywho. um yeah that's what I've been doing really busy um I just really hope I don't get sick I have a feeling I'm probably gonna get sick though if I do, I just want it to be, like, before or after the party, just not on the party. And since the the fever that they've been getting only lasts about an hour, or not an hour, a day, I was like, I don't care if I get it the day before, as long as I'm not sick on that freaking day. I hope the weather's freaking nice, because I want to walk around barefoot, because I'm a freaking hobbit, and hobbits are freaking barefoot. Mm. I've been trying so hard not to cuss. I am terrible. I'm terrible at cussing. I've been doing it really bad, like, I get so frustrated at, like, the dumbest things, and I'm just, like, I flip out the F word, and my daughter's like, you know you're not supposed to say that, and I'm like, I know, I know, I'm so terrible at it. If you guys have any, um, like, helpful hints or tips on how not to cuss, or other, like, I try to think of funny words to say, like, baboons, but then the, then the other words just come follow it. So I'm like, flipping baboons! Don't ask, I don't know what's wrong with me. So help me guys, I have the mouth of a sailor. And it's not pretty. So yeah, if you can, if you can figure out any kind of, uh, thing that might help me with that. Especially since my son is, uh, repeating everything he said. I think I said dick and douche and he repeated both of those. I'm like, dang it! You're not supposed to mimic me. I'm, I'm like the worst person to mimic. Anyway, alright. Love you. Awkward videos. That's what 